L.R. Coltrane, you're out looking for somebody to play this part, again, mm -hmm. assuming that the 12 years is going to be the length of time and you're going to need the commitment of somebody. Yeah. You could have gone and gotten, you know, the equivalent of Dakota Fanning, some professional <laughs> child actor who would have been, you know, this is, well, but you went and found somebody who had really not been that person. Eller, Eller actually, he was a, like a Texas version of a child actor. He's not L.A., you know. Yeah. In that way, but he had a headshot and an agent and a resume. You know, he had been in a few. He'd been in one indie film that um, a couple of colleagues of mine had worked on, and they said, "Oh, this kid's pretty interesting. I, we all, we all liked him. He was good right. to work with." Right. And he's six. but not a big star. No, ab not absolutely a big star. not. Yeah, absolutely not. He wasn't the cute kid from a TV show or anything. He was, right. You know, just a local local kid, and uh, it was such a huge decision. You know, but well, I, the whole movie. I mean, again, yeah. to come back to the fact that it could be motherhood or whatever else. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is boyhood, and at the end of the day, the focus is him. And mm -hmm. so, at the end of the day, the movie is on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you, it's a lot to put on a seven-year-old. Right. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really yes, talk it of it in those terms, but. But that's true. But everyone who but came right. in for casting, you know, my casting director, Bess Supko, and I, we just sat. We met a ton of kids. We yeah. met every, I think, young actor, six or seven-year-old in in the state, probably at that time. And um, he was just the one with the, you know, I just like the way he thought. He was the least, you know, a lot of kid actors can be kind of cute. You know, they've been rewarded for, like, pleasing parents and being kind of right. cute kids. He wasn't really like that. He didn't kind of care what you but thought But nor was he necessarily obnoxious to a fault either, right? He no, just, he was, he was very, just kind of cool. He was very even. Yeah, his yeah. Very even keel, which, again, but suits the telling of yeah, the story. Yeah, just his vibe. It's, it's funny to make that leap with someone, but I just kind of liked his vibe. I, right. I could relate to it in some way. He just liked to talk about, you know, music and movies and, yeah. you know, what was important to him. And he was kind of searching in Your his kind own of guy. way. Yeah, kind of my guy. He grew yeah. up to be like he would have fit in any number of my other movies. So. Well, the amazing thing for me as I watched the back half of the movie and as he grew into his body mm -hmm. and grew into his looks yeah. is you couldn't have known it when he was seven, no. but he looks like Ethan Hawke's son. Yeah, yeah. He right? kinda, and he kind of has that rock star quality. He looks just, I mean, yeah. I thought this is like a perfect, what a, you could see I the know. DNA. We were just right? lucky. He like, because you right. never know. People go, what if he would have grown up to be this kind of hideous guy? And I was like, no. <laughs> you never, just never, never know. know. You never know. Well, but isn't we, that life, right? We got you don't lucky, know. yeah. Isn't that life? Yeah. 